everybody, in this episode, we're going to add another and shift. So, so far, we've done these top two gates, these bottom two gates, and that has filled up one chip. We've got to bring in a second and chip and do it for gate number five. So let me see if I can't like just copy and paste this. All right, sweet, I can. I'm going to move this down and I guess delete this. Um, we'll use that later. Okay, so we need a second and and um and we're going to just plug it into uh just th uh this one um chip and you can see this is five so we're going to go in one pin in the second pin and out the third pin we're actually not going to use these other ones do not forget to ground and power okay so if you are not to this point, there should be some links to some videos popping up on the first two videos of this series. So now that we get into Tinkercad, and I'm going to delete this, we need to add a second, um, we need to add a second and um, chip. So I'm gonna just type the word and, and we want a same thing as this a 74 h c o 8 so this is a nand we want an and so i'm going to bring it in and a couple things we can't just drop it anywhere because as you can see this right here is lined up with this led so that's not going to work so i'm going to have to bump this up a little bit um it kind of looks like it's over the top but what it is is there is actually um if you had these in real life they would not be touching. There would be a tiny, um, tiny space in between those. Let me see if I click off of it, if that space shows up. It doesn't quite show up. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to add power to this. So I'm going to change this to red. We want to add ground to this one. Zoom out a little bit. Let me add ground to this one, and I'm going to make the ground wire black. Okay, so this chip is powered and grounded. Now, you may be telling yourself, well, or telling me in this video, there is no more space for an OR um, gate, and you are right about that. So we'll address that in the next video. So let's wire this... And gate right here. We are going to use switch one because it's the president, and then switch four, which is the treasurer. And we are going to add an LED to just make sure that it works. So we need switch one and switch four. Okay. Switch one is coming to come out here, and we are going to go to. Whoop, I went to the wrong one. Here we go. So here's switch one. Okay. So it might be easier to come this direction. And plug it into any any spot on switch one. And I'm going to make that gray because if you haven't noticed, everything coming out of switch one, I've been trying to color as gray. And then switch pin two, I'm going to have... Go to switch four. So let me find 1D, bring this over and up and go over to four. And I'm going to change this to blue. Blue, blue, blue. There it is. And let's check and see the output on this and start the simulation and again this should work when switch one and switch four are on that's good these others don't matter so that doesn't change or affect anything um, however when i turn off four or i turn off one it should turn off so it only works there okay good job
you did that in oh, less than man. five minutes. Um, this is a great spot to pat yourself on the back. Now that everything, all of your ands are working, we're, next video we're going to add an org to this. And we're going to check here. We're going to add one or chip. And we're going to take our ands here, plug them into our ores, uh, add LEDs at the certain spots, and get it to work. So if you have not troubleshooted or tested any of your lights, please do that now. You do not want to wait until the end and start troubleshooting and figuring out, well, I don't know why it doesn't work. Oh my gosh, that is like so crazy we've, we've taken some time to troubleshoot it that is why we do it we troubleshoot early so that we know it will work in the end all right thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know